Hello, I'm Mardux. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to own a tavern where you welcome everyone from humble peasants to ambitious lords? Have you ever hated cleaning tables, doing dishes or any other chores your mother asked you to do? Well, let's see if Tavern Manager Simulator is the game for you. Tavern Manager Simulator, as the name suggests, is a game where you take over a random tower and keep it running while earning lots of money in the process. The money, of course, will help you buy supplies like bottles of beer or various foods for your guests. But more importantly, you will need that hard and cash to purchase upgrades and improvements, as well as furniture and decorations for your tavern. After all, customers need to sit, right? With each upgrade, you will take on more work, but the game also lets you hire little helpers to lighten the load. The first person view clearly indicates that, well, you will have to do everything yourself. I'm surprised that developers didn't add VR support, as it will work perfectly with the game's mechanic. Tavern Manager Simulator is full of small mini games, whether you are pouring beer into caps, cleaning tables, cooking, mopping the floor, and more. At the beginning, you will enter an old, abandoned building that will soon become a fully, or at least partially, functional bar. You will start by cleaning up, but that's just the first task the game assigns you. There's a touch of humor here, as some areas are still blocked off by remnants of the past. Old furniture, crates and more. The game requires you to cover these areas with a rug. I love this method of cleaning, it's very effective and nobody will notice it. Nice. Once you've ordered your first bottle of ale, you are ready to open and welcome your first customers. Initially only farmers and peasants will visit your tavern for a cold drink. Serving beers involves a minigame and depending on your performance you will get a bad, good or perfect pour. It's worth aiming for perfect pour because good quality beer gives you 10 reputation points while a perfect pour gives you 50, plus the chance for a customer to leave a tip. Shut up and take my money! As you level up the quality of your tavern, you will need to buy new upgrades, which will clean up another pile of trash and allow you to order furniture for your guests. Now, instead of carrying one beer to a customer, you can carry up to four on your tray. As you progress, you will unlock the option to serve snacks like sausages. There are various effects. They don't bring tips and always cost the same, but you won't have to wash dishes after serving them. More importantly, they don't require any cleanup. Occasionally, customers might spill beer on the bar or later in the game even vomit after getting drunk. Oh, shit. In such cases, you will need to remove the offending customer from your tavern. With higher levels, you will unlock a cauldron to serve vegetable soup. You will need to fetch water, chop wood and add vegetables, stirring the soup to get it just right. Later on, you will gain access to grill to cook steaks for your guests. As your reputation grows and your tavern expands, you will attract more type of customers and larger groups, requiring bigger tables to accommodate them. At some point, you will have so many customers that you will need to work quickly, even though there is no strict time limit on most orders. Urgent orders, however, will appear on the right side of the screen with a timer. Eventually, you will unlock access to fairies, special creatures you can hire to perform various tasks, though they can only handle one task at a time. As fairies work, they will gain prophecy and perform their duties faster and more efficiently. You won't have to pay them, but they don't work entirely for free. They need magical dust, which you will need to purchase to keep them working. Everything you order is delivered by carriage with a minute, and once it arrives, you will need to place it in your tavern storage. With additional upgrades, you can expand your storage space, but beware! From time to time, a thief might enter your tavern disguised as a regular customer, but head straight for the storage room. With so many customers to serve, it's easy to miss him, so keep an eye on your storage and be ready to defend it. The game includes various events and with the upgrades I mentioned earlier, different types of customers will start visiting your tavern. For instance, a beggar might show up and you can either hit her with a pen or give her some money. Personally, I prefer the last option as it leads to a better outcome. Occasionally, a group of smelly customers might arrive and while you can't send them away, they will lower the cleanliness of your tavern, forcing you to clean up after them. As you progress further in the game, your tavern reputation will start attracting aristocrats. You will need to set aside a separate room for them, buying higher quality furniture and serve different types of food, like wine and cheese. It's a bit more work, but they pay more for your services. You will have plenty to do as the pace of the game increases, requiring you to serve more customers and hiring more fairies to keep up. Quick stop, I showcase indie games to help developers reach a wider audience and to help viewers discover games that they may not know about. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more content. Thanks! As you may have noticed, there is more around your tavern than just grass. I took a tour around the map and the game has a humorous tone with a plenty of references. You might stumble upon an orange ninja, a female sword stuck in a tree or even a swampy area where you're definitely not welcome. What?
are you doing in my swamp? There is more to discover and often this location offers decorations for your tavern. Unfortunately, in version 1.06, which I was playing, you couldn't visit the lo local village due to a fermented ale incident, and you also couldn't visit the castle or the wasteland. Maybe the developers have a plans for these areas, but they are not accessible at the moment. One thing to note, once you tower reaches level 2, a ladder appears on the left side of the building, allowing you to climb up. What will you find there? I won't spoil it for you, but keep upgrading until the ladder disappears. As always, I have to mention the game's visuals. For modern standards, the UI is quite minimalistic and simple, which is good because it doesn't distract you at all. The game is colorful with a cartoonish 3D style. I like how the world and customers looks. It fits well with the game humorous theme. The chosen art style isn't demanding on hardware, so the game should run smoothly on even less powerful devices. The music is typical of a medieval setting. In the tavern, your customers mumble and the fairies fly around with a sparkling noise. Near the toilet, you can hear flies buzzing and you will hear the sound of customers at the work. Unfortunately, I have mixed feelings about the technical aspect of the game. I played Tavern Manager Simulator in version 1.0.6 and 1.0.7, which was released while I was recording, and the game still has some technical issue. Sometimes guests get stuck in various places, and the fairies can also get stuck in an infinite loop while trying to perform a task. Update 1.0.7 was supposed to fix most of these issues, but after unlocking everything I could, I didn't have much motivation to keep playing. Another point I consider a mistake is that the game shouldn't have been fully released yet. It should have been in early access where the developers could have continued working on it. There are definitely more content to come in the future updates because once you reach level 7 of your tavern, the game slows down significantly. You start getting quests like serve 40 ales, then 40 wines, then 40 sausages, and more. Oh, hell no. The game begins to feel more like a chore than a fun experience doing chores in the game. While new things do happen at higher levels, it feels like the later parts of the game are still under development. I know, I haven't covered everything, but if I did, this video would be much longer than it is, and I don't want to spoil everything for those who want to try the game for themselves. I definitely don't like the fact an unfinished game was released as a full product. I spent over 10 hours playing and unlocked nearly everything. In the upgrade menu, the last upgrades don't have additional things level, like the ill ones did, so I hope more content will be added later. The game is meant to be fun through the process of obtaining these upgrades, as simply serving customers becomes less exciting. In my opinion, customers should present more challenges and rewards, or there should be more random events that impact the gameplay in a fun way. Most upgrades are unlocked too quickly, as I mentioned earlier. Up to level 7, you progress rapidly, but then it turns into a grind completing tasks like some kind of FedEx quest. There should be more balance in the earlier levels. Again, in my view, the game should be in early access. Despite that, it's a fun title for a while. If the game receives more content, upgrades and features, like minigames, it will definitely improve. I would love to see the ability to haggle with deliver guys to lower prices or have a gambling corner in the tavern where you also serve customers. Since it's a tavern, there should be also an option to rent rooms where you take care of a guests and prepare rooms for them. On the adult side, developers could add some entertainment who also need rooms for um, various activities. I hope the developers are fully aware of the current state of the game and that it will improve over time. As for me, thank you very much for watching this video. If you learned about the new game today or enjoyed discovering new indie games, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.